If you're looking for the best miter saws, here's a collection you've got to see. Let's get started. At any time, you can click the circle for more info and real-time deals. Number 1. Most popular DeWalt DWS 779-12 Sliding Compound Miter Saw. There's a reason why you'll find DeWalt tools in the hands of many professionals. Truthfully, there are quite a few reasons, and the DWS 779 12-inch sliding compound miter saw displays all of them. This is a beast of a saw that's capable of everything you can imagine and quite a few things you've never thought of. For instance, it can cut through lumber that's up to 6.75 inches thick. Just as impressive. It can cut through a 16-inch wide piece of lumber thanks to the sliding rails and large 12-inch blade. Add the powerful 15-amp motor into the equation, and it's easy to see why this saw tops our list. Most miter saws these days can bevel to at least one side. The DWS 779 can bevel to both sides beyond 45 degrees. The fence will even slide out of the way to allow the blade plenty of room. While most saws feature some sort of dust containment system, the DeWalt version on this saw actually works and prevented us from having sawdust in our faces or much mess to clean up. The catch is that this is a heavy and expensive saw, but we think it's well worth the trade-off. Number 2. Matabo HTPC 10 FCGS 10 Compound Miter Saw. Power tools can get expensive and miter saws are on the larger, higher-priced end of the spectrum. But with the Metabo HTPC 10 FCGS, you can get an excellent miter saw at a very affordable price. It's got a smaller 10-inch blade that can't cut through larger lumber, but for anything 2 times 6 and smaller, it's a great choice. Equipped with a powerful 15-amp motor, it's got plenty of power to cut through anything that the blade will reach through. It's even great for cutting through metals if you switch the blade out. One problem we noticed with a lot of the premium 12-inch miter saws was that they were extremely heavy and bulky. You wouldn't want to move them around often. That's fine for a saw that will spend its life in a workshop, but if you ever move outside of your workspace for a project, then the smaller size and lighter weight of the Metabo C10 FCGS will be a blessing that you'll appreciate. Even though it's smaller and cheaper than a lot of the competition, the five-year warranty should provide peace of mind. For us, it all adds up to the best miter saw for the money. Number 3. Bosch GCM 12 SD12 Sliding Compound Miter Saw. Tools are one thing that a lot of us can justify spending top dollar on to get a premium device that will safely perform for many years without issue. For those individuals, the GCM 12 SD12 inch miter saw from Bosch Power Tools is the Rolls Royce of miter saws. It's packed with every feature and extra that you can imagine, but it comes with a premium price tag. This saw is also a heavyweight beast, tipping the scales at 88 pounds. But it's got the punch of a heavyweight too, with a 3 horsepower, 15 amp motor sending nearly unlimited power to the blade. While this is a powerful monster of a miter saw, that's not all that you're paying for. You also get some great extra features that add up to a top-notch machine. On the back of the saw is a port where you can attach a vacuum to clean up the dust as you cut, eliminating any mess. The table is large to provide support, but it goes a step further with extendable support arms to give you 40 total inches of support. That all sounds nice, but this is a well-built and sturdy machine that you need to use to appreciate. Number 4. Matabo 12C 12 FDHS Compound Miter Saw. Matabo HPT is the new name for the well-known tool brand, Hitachi. They've been making quality tools for a long time, and their new name and lineup have brought high performance to a more affordable price point. The C12 FDHS is a 12-inch saw packed with all the standard features for a reasonable price. It's got a 15-amp motor that packs 1,950 watts of power spinning the blade. It doesn't slide, but you can still cut through anything 2 times 8 and smaller. For trim work and finer carpentry, the blade bevels to both sides. The inside pieces of the fence flip out of the way to allow room so the blade doesn't hit them when it's beveled. Like many saws, the C12 FDHS has a laser guide system to help you see where the blade will cut. But also like many saws, the laser was inaccurate, dim, and not very useful overall. Coming in under 60 pounds, 
This saw was much easier to move than some of the other 12-inch miter saws we were comparing it against. However, the shorter reach means it can't cut the same size lumber, which is why this saw just missed our top three. Number 5. DeWalt 1-2 DWS 715 Miter Saw. Being one of the kings in the power tool world, it's not surprising that DeWalt has ended up with two offerings on our list. The DWS 715 is a stout 15 amp miter saw with a 12 inch blade that's capable of sinking its teeth into anything 5 inches thick and 8 inches wide or smaller. Overall, it's a very capable saw, but it's more expensive than some of its closest competitors without offering quite as many notable features. That said, DeWalt is known for producing sturdy tools with a very high build quality, and this saw certainly lives up to that reputation. With the DWS 715, you get a tall fence that's great for cutting larger material. The fence even slides out of the way for doing beveled cuts, but the blade only bevels to the left, unlike the Metabo saw in the position ahead of this DeWalt. This saw also doesn't have a laser light for lining up your cut. However, the DeWalt is a good bit lighter, at just over 40 pounds. DeWalt covers their tools with a three-year warranty, which isn't the best in the industry, but it's far better than nothing. Number 6. SKIL-12 Compound Miter Saws. It wasn't one of our favorites, but the Skillsaw 3821-01 Compound Miter Saw is a very solid product. Like most miter saws at this price point, this one is powered by a 15-amp motor. It's got a 12-inch blade that can cut through 2x6 lumber with ease, but rather disappointingly, wouldn't quite reach through a 2x8. Nine positive stops are built in to make it easy and quick to set your miter angles. You also get a laser light to side up your cut, and to our surprise, this one is pretty accurate and even somewhat visible. But our favorite feature was the slide-out table extensions that give you more support for when you're cutting long pieces. Despite all the features we enjoyed on this saw, there were still plenty of complaints from our testers. The short cut length was our first complaint since it wouldn't reach through a 2x8. It can only cut pieces with a maximum height of 3.5 inches as well, so it's not great for trim work. The blade only bevels to the left, but some other saws in the price range bevel to both sides. It's acceptable for basic woodwork, but we don't recommend it. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.